Sophia from Hallmark, and today I'm going to show you how to make this alternative Christmas tree. I've gotten started, and I can't wait to show you the next steps. So the first thing I did is I went to a hardware store and I got this uh, two by four medium density fiber board. I then spray painted it. I like the spray paint a little bit better than if you use a regular like latex paint because then you still get these cool textures and this nice like whitewash feeling. I also got these dowels, they're half an inch dowels, and you're going to spray paint those with a nice hunter green as well, and then these little hook screws that will be your base support. I spray, spray painted those green too. Once you spray painted everything, you're gonna grab your drill, because who doesn't love power tools? And then you're gonna drill some two holes in for each one of your little bars that you set up. Um, you can measure it if you're really particular. I like to kind of eyeball it because depending on what size garland you get, that kind of will determine where you want your different layers to be. So for this one, I'm thinking I'll probably put it about right here. And then I'll just make a little mark here and a mark here. So you're gonna take your drill and put in two holes where you made your marks. Then you're going to screw in your hook screws. I use my hand, it's pretty easy. And then you're just gonna lightly place your dowel into the hook screws. So as you can see, my technique of just eyeballing things and not measuring them means that my hooks are a little bit crooked, but that's okay because I have this garland that I'm gonna wrap around this dowel and then I'm gonna take some floral wire to secure it and you can put a lot of garland on one side or kind of um, move things around and just judge it just right. After you're done wrapping your garland around your dowel, you just put it onto these hooks and you can't even tell that it was ever crooked to begin with. So who needs a measuring tape? Your next step is to take your ornaments, I'm currently obsessed with this Barbie ornament, and then tie them onto your branch. For this, I've only put keepsakes ornaments onto the tree, but if you like lights or even some great fillers, you can add those as well. You can also make it as big as you want. And that's all it takes to make this really great alternative Christmas tree. If you have any questions, come find me at the convention. Can't wait to see you guys. Thanks.